hi guys welcome back to another video in this video i am going to share interview questions which are asked in infosys recently level of the question which are asked in this interview was easy to medium i won't say these are all unique questions these are asked as before as well this will give you an idea if you are applying between one year to four years this will be a very helpful video for you make sure you write all these questions and uh, make sure you know the answer for all these questions okay so this will be a part one and uh, part two will be released for the platinum members so in part one i will discuss half of the questions okay we have a core java questions mostly core java questions and then we have a string programming question and then we have java 8 questions as well there are some spring related questions as well which are discussed in this video make sure you watch this video till the very end and you prepare for these questions as well i'm sure you will clear your rounds in your upcoming interviews so let's directly jump to the questions also before starting this video i just want to tell you that if you want any help in the resume building or have any general query you can go to the link into the description below now i will go to the questions and talk about them one by one okay so first question we have is can you let me know the memory structure in java so if you talk about memory structure in java there are two main uh, areas in memory jvm memory one is heap and one is stack so whenever you create any uh, primitive data types it will be stored inside the stack memory and whenever you create any object it will be stored inside the heap memory so there are like uh, other details as well inside heap memory area like uh, uh, multiple spaces like eden space first generation space and last generation space those things as well so you need to explain that as well that whenever you create any object it will be created inside the eden space and then there will be a minor gc happen minor gc means uh, a garbage collection cycle so it will identify that uh, whatever object is not long uh, not no longer in used it will be moved to the uh, first generation space then again there will be a minor gc so it will be moved to the next generation then last generation space and whenever the last ge generation is sp space is full a major gc will happen and it will uh, garbage collect all the objects of course there are other memory areas as well like gvm registers method stack and uh, meta space as well so before java 8 it was perm gen like after java 8 it is meta space so it stores all the details about the uh, me method execution or program execution so you need to tell those details as well while answering those question and my audience i know my audience is uh, like they you guys are so smart you know answer or of all the questions and uh, uh, like so i won't go into the detail much i will like this channel is all about the questions so uh, the next question we have is difference between interface and abstract class so while answering this question you need to make sure that you will tell the interface changes related to java 8 so the major difference like uh, there are few differences like only like if you are achieving abstraction both can be used to achieve the abstraction okay but if you talk about abstract class it is not supporting multiple inherit uh, multiple inheritance in the case of interface you can implement multiple interfaces at the same time in a single class so you can achieve multiple inheritance while using interface so that is the difference major difference but after java 8 there are few things which has been added in interface like static method or default method so you need to tell those things as well so the next question is what is the marker interface marker interface is something which don't have any uh, method any method so what the next question will be so what is the use of marker interface if it doesn't have any method okay and interviewer can also ask the example of mar marker interface so like clonable is marker interface serializable is marker interface remote is marker interface so these are the few example and marker interface is used to tell jvm that uh, this class will do certain things certain things so it will inform jvm like for example if you are implementing clonable so jvm will understand that uh, in future you will create a clone of this object of course it doesn't have clone method uh, like clone method is available in the object class not in clonable interface that's why it is a marker interface uh, interface without any method 
abstract method to okay so the next question is can you tell me the working of hash map now i don't need to tell you the answer of this question because my audience is smart enough to tell that uh, oh, what is the internal working of a hash map because uh, this is a very common question how hash map internally works how it overrides equals and hash code method how it stores the data and values and what is the bucket what is the hashing principle i mean hashing algorithm what is uses to find out the bucket and then how internally it uses the uh, like a structure a linked list structure and there is a catch after java 8 there is a certain change which has happened in the case of hash map so you need to tell that as well so because if you tell all all these details so it will give an impression that you have understood how hash map internally works and what are the things uh, are there available so the next question we have is what is fail uh, what is fail fast and fail safe okay so in the case of fail safe and these are iterators these are iterators in the uh, collection okay so iterators in the collection like uh, the level of this question is medium it's not easy questions uh, easy question and many of the guys don't understand that what is fail fast iterator and fail safe iterator uh, so if you talk about concurrent modification means like if you are modifying the object like multiple if you are uh, like running the multiple threads if you are running the multiple threads and one thread is uh, updating the data and other th thread is reading the data at the same time so there will be ambiguity the, the, of course the one thread can change the data and uh, at the same time the other thread which is the which is reading the data it can read the old value this can happen so uh, be because of this there is a exception called concurrent modification exception so some some collection throws this exception and some don't okay so like whenever you are getting this exception while using any any uh, uh, a collection it is a fail fast fail fast collection and whenever you are not getting this exception it is a fail safe exception some example of fail safe exception uh, fail safe uh, collections are concurrent hash map and fail fast is uh, example of fail fast is uh, hash map a simple hash map okay so there are few more example as well uh, of fail safe like array on write uh, like copy on write array list something like that so when you read about uh, fail safe and fail fast inter interface uh, iterator or collection in detail you will get to know that what is the difference and uh, how it is the so next question is what design pattern you have used so uh, to answer this question you don't need to tell all the design pattern whatever you have read you just tell them as well them only like uh, read about singleton read about builder read about a proxy or like read about factory or abstract factory any two or three of them will work any to uh, pick any two or three and answer they, those only don't need to you don't need to write all design pattern like creational behavioral and all other design pattern okay there are multiple facade is there there are multiple design patterns available so you don't need to tell all of them the next question we have is can you tell me why string is immutable so in java string is immutable so immutability means something is not changing okay so ja intentionally they have created string is immutable so they have created string immutable to or like uh, final to like to to um, to make it more memory efficient of course there are like uh, more details into this uh, strings are thread safe strings are like uh, immutability gives a security also so there are multiple things but uh, uh, for this instance i will tell you uh, for memory efficiency uh, efficiency string is immutable there is a uh, inside heap area there is a string constant pool so all the things you need to read about uh, immutability concept to clear this concept another question is from is from spring what is the difference between setter injection and constructor injection if you read about ioc in details uh, in detail you will get an idea about the setter injection and constructor injection injection and which is better 
which is better way so in the case of constructor injection in the case of constructor when you are creating a new object you have to pass all the values in in a proper sequence if you if you like uh, if you have an object for suppose employee object that has name id uh, roll number and various 10 more details 10 more parameters so you need to while creating object of employee you need to give all the details in a proper sequence but in the case of setter injection you don't need to give all the details in sequence so you can call the setter methods and set the values for that particular object so of course setter is better but yeah there are more details are uh, like uh, available so you need to read about that as well so the next question is have you used java 8 what is the features of java 8 okay so there are multiple features which are introduced in java 8 okay uh, if i talk about java 8 like there are uh, stream apis okay there are for each method okay there is default and static method in interfaces they have introduced default and static method so uh, why they have introduced default method what is the use of static method and what is the difference why if we have default method then why we need to use uh, why they have static method on top of that so those things you need to like tell and what is function interfaces the example of functional interface there are four functional interfaces which are available in java 8 uh, consumer producer and uh, uh, a function there is one more and apart from that what is lambda expression okay and uh, while using like uh, these interfaces function interfaces so some method in stream api take these function interfaces as an argument like filter takes uh, a predicate uh, as an argument predicate is fourth function interface by the way so uh, then map take function as an argument what are the different methods in these function interfaces a single abstract method uh, will be there in function interfaces and what is the use of lambda expression okay and like uh, what is, there there are changes uh, in terms of hash map in terms of hash map uh, instead of uh, a linked list they have used something else so you need to tell that as well uh, there are uh, improvement in collection api there are improvement in concurrency there are improvement in java io uh, there are java io improvements and uh, uh, we there was uh, there is java datetime api is also introduced so if we have like we already have datetime api in previous versions then again they have introduced datetime api there was SQL date or uh, in the lang package as well there is date API so why they have used why they have introduced uh, date time API in the case of Java 8 apart from that there is for each method which has been introduced uh, to iterate various values you can use for each while using stream API as well of course there can be question on uh, stream API as well like uh, uh, modifying I mean the they will give some condition uh, you need to more uh, you need to find out you need to solve these using java 8 okay so these things you you need to tell the stream api is itself is a very long topic stream api is uh, like questions they can ask questions they can ask uh, details about intermediate method terminal methods and all what is the difference between stream api uh, sorry stream and parallel stream so there is a method there is a thing called parallel stream as well okay so how if we have a stream then why they have introduced parallel stream so parallel stream is for multi-threading environment so like why why don't we use always parallel stream if like if it is support multiple uh, multi-threading that means it is fast then why we are using parallel stream only parallel stream okay so these type of questions they can ask so, uh, so till here we have discussed we have di we will discuss more questions uh, on programming question in the second part of the video which i will release soon okay and uh, apart from that like there are few things i want to share i have another hindi channel as well which you can subscribe which you will find in the uh, description and i have a platinum membership as well uh, which you if you if you like uh, want to become a platinum mem member there are various 
uh, benefit of becoming a platinum member and uh, you will get a lot of videos there as well you will get a real time uh, video re uh, like recording there as well so it is very cheap for a software engineer so you can buy that as well and if you want any help in resume building or have any general query regarding your career or anything you can go to the link in the description below and uh, you can contact me for that so i hope this will be a very helpful video make sure you write down all the question and prepare for that at least like you should know answers for these questions okay then uh, i will go to the next question in the next video till then bye bye